wanted to do a nice demo of this particular Casio game watch. So there's not a lot of uh, talking demos out there. Anyway, it's a GG9 from Casio, made in 1984. There's this backside also. Some of the functions on this watch, uh, to look at the date and day, just press the button there, and this button here will tell you when the next alarm is. Then on top you can scroll through. First thing is the alarm. Set the alarm or the hourly chime. And you can make sure the alarm works. Next you have the chronograph. Cool thing about that, and he puts a ball into the hole every second, which I just think is, is something neat that they added. Anyway, you can do the lap times and such with it, just basic stopwatch functions and reset. Next one that sets this game apart from some of the other Casio game watches is actually playing golf and keeping track of your holes with the hole counter. So you can do uh, nine holes at a time. So every shot you want to record, you just keep hitting. And then when you're done with that hole, you press, it goes on to the next one, starts your shot counter and keeps a running tally of all your, your shots. That's kind of neat. And if you happen to go out of that mode, you want to go back to your time. When you go back, it is saved. So you can continue where you left off. And then if you want to reset it, just hit the reset button. And of course, the game function, you have nine holes and a selection of clubs. It'll show you your uh, top score on that, or should I say your lowest score? Anyway, uh, when you're on the tee box, you do not need to set your direction that's already set for you, but you'll need to scroll through and select your club. So hit a one wood. And just like regular golf, you are not guaranteed your shots just because you are pointed in the right direction. So now we're going to be aiming. And then we have to pick, so we have 207 yards. Which one? I'm going to go with a three iron. <laughs> yeah, just like real golf. And <clears throat> some holes you're shooting decent and some holes not making shots. And that's the bunker. <laughs> So then we choose our sand wedge and hopefully we get out of there. And I'll tell you once in a while, you get stuck in a bunker and it will not let you out. I've had this happen a couple of times where you are just stuck. There. Finally, I want to at least show you how the putting green, because the putting's a little bit different. You actually get to choose your strength. And this is going to be a terrible round. Oh, and if you don't set your direction first, you are stuck with whatever direction you had it pointed in. Okay, so be sure to set your direction first. And I overshot. Nope. Oh, keep scrolling, it keeps going all the way around until you're back to where you want to be. Let me try pitching wedge. Perhaps there's a setting that allows you to put in how many beers you've had before you start playing, so it's even more accurate. Okay, so 
when you're on the putting green, it only allows you to use the putter. So when you select your club there, now as you scroll through, you'll see his club keeps going further and further up. So that's going to set your distance until you go back down to just the one. So uh, on this shot, we're going to hit one. Oh, overshot. There we go. So yeah, only 14 shots to get into that hole. <laughs> so par three, I'll just uh, tee that one off here. Um, I think we'll actually do a, a seven. Oh, nice. So anyway, that's the golf game. Um, if you do go out of this one, it does not take you back into the game where you left off, so it will restart the game. So if you're starting an awful round like I did on the first hole, you just scroll through it and you can restart. So that is the Casio GG9 Golf Watch. Thanks for watching.